Welcome back to Ted Turner Field's second game of a three-game series here with Don Sutton. Hey, Don, I got a lot of questions to ask you, man. Um, we got nothing but time. We got nothing but time. <laughs> Hey, LaVon signed a, a contract here recently and uh, with a ball club that has struggled immensely and he's pitched so well this year. Uh, what do you think that that sends to these young pitchers? I think it, it, it tells the young pitchers you're important to us. We want to have a guy here who has been on good ball clubs. He's been on bad ball clubs. He's done about everything you can do as a pitcher. Watch his work habits. Watch how he pitches. And basically what they're saying is we're sending you, we are letting you know we believe in you enough that we're giving you a mentor who's going to be right there with you. Um, the question that, that I wanted to ask you about, John Lannon, uh, you know, he's been the best pitcher on this staff for two years, and then he struggled. He had right. some elbow fluid in his elbow. Uh, but you've seen him as, as much as anybody. And, uh, you know, do you think that even though he struggled, that he's the type of guy that's going to be able to fit right in that Strasburg mold behind a Strasburg and a Zimmerman? I'm not sure there's too many people in the world can fit into the Strasburg mold. No. <laughs> but he's going to be a great addition to a pitching staff. I would love to have him pitching after Strasburg, a left-hander. And the first time I ever met John and talked to him, he had a knowledge and a grasp of what pitching was all about. That impressed me. Everybody goes through bumps in the road. If you stay up here longer than 24 hours, you're going to hit some bumps in the road. And I think he knows how to pitch. I think uh, uh, in the videos I've seen of him pitching the last couple of ball games that have been good ones, he seemed to be trusting what he does he he can't be somebody else he's got to hit spots turn the ball over change speeds pop inside every now and then but i think he knows that and uh, i consider him a friend so i have a personal interest in his doing well but put that aside professionally i think he has a chance to be a very good pitcher i think he's just now starting to touch what he can do well he's just 26 years old and uh going back to your years with the dodgers you came up as as a young buck with Don Drazil, Kofax, Osteen, uh, and, you know, you worked your way to a Hall of Famer and a number one pitcher, but there was a lot of people that helped you along the way. Well, I won the lottery when I came up with those three guys, and one of the things I'll always appreciate about them, I was from Alabama. I don't know that I'd been in a sit-down restaurant, but they never <laughs> let me embarrass myself, and I think that more than anything uh, is what I will always appreciate. They taught me how to pitch. They taught me how to dress. They taught me that you were supposed to tip a clubhouse guy, and, you know, that if there's money left on the table, don't go around and pick it up in a restaurant. Leave it there. It's for the waiter and the waitress but and then the, the the best advice I ever got from any of them was don't try to be us but try to watch what we do to get hitters out and then take what you are naturally and if you can learn from us do it Sandy Koufax said once the most polite thing you can do is listen to everybody. The smartest thing you can do is plug in what fits you. <laughs> so I, no, I was so fortunate. I, I would hate to think, you and I probably wouldn't even be sitting here talking had I not been able to start with those guys. They were like, they were three mentors. Well, I want to thank you so much. You've been a great teammate with me, a oh, great yeah. friend, one of my favorite good time. people. Yeah. We sure have. And I uh, appreciate your time here, Don. Well, I hope good things are happening. We're going longer than we're supposed to, but that's all right. Cut a commercial. Yeah. I hope great <laughs> things continue to happen for the Nationals. Uh, I left my part of my heart up there with those young pitchers. And I know that uh, and, and uh, Doug and Chip are getting a big fat head back there, but you got the best TV production people in baseball. It was a pleasure being a part of it. Thank you, Don. Back up to you, Bob.